welcome back to another basics game maker studio tutorial and this time i wanted to well give a little explanation to layers and depth so if you have been maybe using the older version of a game maker studio and you maybe are confused because you think okay is this one system are they two systems do they work together how can i use them for example if you are having game maker studio 2 well then all those things apply if you're having Game Maker 1.4 or before that, but then you only have, and the quotations only have depth available, but because we, uh, well, take the, the most modern standard, which is Game Maker Studio 2, then therefore I will just explain uh, what depth is, how layers are put in the room, and what kind of function do they have, and why they are important to understand as a core principle, well, of your game so stay tuned if you want to know that this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky source and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you are new here and you definitely want more consider subscribing to my channel because i try to upload every second day every day a video of course what else and share my stuff and like comment or dislike me if you dislike me for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe you like to hate people, maybe I, <laughs> something like this, who knows, um, yeah, so I'm here for you, <laughs> for that guilty pleasure, if you like this, um, yeah, so what are layers and what is depth, so let's go for the most modern standard, this is the IDE of Game Maker Studio 2, of course, because well, I want to have the most modern version, and you have your properties on the your resources, your resource tree here. And then you have your rooms, and rooms are just your levels. So once again, to recap quite fast. And then every level is something where you can do some stuff. And on this level, you have layers. And you can have different kind of layers. Let's say, for example, just backgrounds, which are those trees. Maybe tile sets, where you can paint stuff onto the screen if you like but i'm not going to do this because the levels are already finished of course you can do that with single sprites and that animate therefore you could use the where are you the asset layer and you just have the, for example you just click on it bam and then you have that thing but i'm not going to use it am i not going to use it yes i won't so let's say for example you want to put in some stuff which is completely useless in here oh, this is, okay i'm not going to put that in here a little bit uh, big um, so this is when you want to animate some stuff without using actually an object. So this is resource saving. Once again, these are only cosmetic things. And then of course we come to the, let's call it more interesting things, which are instances. So the objects you put in the room because, well, you want to do something. You want to shoot, collect, jump, eat, dissolve, and God knows what else you want to do in uh, video games because, well, you can. And this is the great thing about, well, video games yeah and this is the part and so for example now as you can see they have a specific structure and of course you can put one on top of the other one or you can for example group them and they are kind of like one thing on top of each other for example you see this guy but he this appears behind the bush because the bush is a layer which is in i just call it tiles one which is on top of the thing and for example these the higher you go of course the more on top it is and those things are normally clamped for example here you see this little thing it, it says depth is zero then we go for example for other instances so depth 200 uh -huh. instances 400 and the last one 700 so game maker studio is assigning a specific depth to it so you know which is more upfront so which is more closer to the camera so which you can basically see which is like covering the other thing so the higher it is the more it is up front of course you can as far as i can see you can actually change the depth but um this is one thing for example if you want to have things in front well the layer higher and this is the easiest way and then of course you just put in your instances or whatever you want to put of course this is a uh, object and for example you can put those things on the layers or whatever you want to do and therefore you create your level easy 
easy. So then you're thinking, okay, but great, then you have your depth and you have your lace, but why do I actually need depth? And this is the part. So for example, normally you wouldn't be needing it directly. So for example, you want to put your instance, for example, my player needs to be, let's say, above those boxes, but below the bush, therefore I put him neatly under those layers here, but let's say for example you're creating things during runtime, so for example you have a spawner and at some point it is spawning and sometimes things don't, well, are not too, uh, are not uh, as uh, upfront as you want to have, so for example maybe something is covering them and it shouldn't be. So what you can do this is the thing, for example, if you are creating instances, so for example, you go for instance create, and normally the old system was instance, let's zoom in a little bit, create, that's quite small, and this is the old system, instance create depth, and then you give it a specific depth, which is a number, so for example, if I give it a, let's say, minus 300, so this thing would create an instance, so an object into this room and then it would be on top of everything because well this is this has a depth of zero and therefore you would just do it on top and for example what you normally do is instance no, 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 no. create am I being okay and then you say layer and what why, what is the basic difference between, let's say, instance create something on a layer? So, for example, hey, I want to create things, objects on a layer, and for example, instance create uh, depth. Come on, come on. What is the main difference here? So, here, instance create depth is creating a temporary layer, and for example, after this object which is sitting on this layer, is deleted then the layer is deleting itself as well but for example this layer will all the time be there so you it's all the time permanent and you cannot change of course if you change the room then it's gone because well everything's getting kicked out of memory but this this layer is all the time around and this one is just a temporary thing so just keep that in mind so for example this is once you create a well, a new instant, but for example, let's say you want this guy to be on top of everybody. So you can actually go and say depth. Come on, come on. And then give it a value. Let's say, for example, let's give it a minus 300 or whatever. And then, it, for example, once we start the game, even though, for example, now you see, okay, he's here, but he should be below the bush, we're giving him later on an artificial depth. So we put him on a different layer then he will be above everything so let's check it out yep he's above everything so this is how it works so for example if you want to artificially put something up front because it's, something is not working with your layers this is a neat way to do it and this is just basically it so there's no magic here so this is the old system with the depth so this is, there was just a number and for example you could you would need to assign uh, numbers for example what is up front what is below and so on and so on but again make a studio do, does it a little bit organized but for example if you will like the old system with the dev then you can artificially do it anyway because th this is a nice way how you can flip flop between things which you like and maybe you want to adjust it and sometimes I do it because I am kind of lazy I do for example things which are instances on top but still um, it doesn't work out the way I want so I put an instant depth and it does work and it's above everything sweet easy peasy not sure how big the values are so I guess I put in values of 20,000 it still worked even minus 20,000 so not sure what the maximum value is here but uh, yeah so this is pretty good of course um, just keep that in mind if you are creating every for everything a specific depth then at some point you're creating all the time um, layers and I'm not sure if the performance of a game which is just basically only on is 
uh, well, temporal layers is quite fast. I guess it is not. And therefore, I would advise you, but this is of course just a recommendation from my side, to use uh, layers and then maybe for some specific instances, flip flop it to uh, depth, which you artificially put in, and then you put it on a different uh, well, temporal layer, if you like. So that was pretty much it. Hopefully that was a cohesive um, way. Now you understand what layers are. Of course, if you're using uh, <laughs> older versions, then you are only, uh, well, you can only use the depth system. So here, then uh, I cannot help you because, well, you just need to depth system, but then you have instance create, then you don't have instance create layer or instance create depth. So that was pretty much it. Hopefully for the beginners, this was a comprehensive guide and see you around. Have a good one. Wanna be?